Hello beekeepers, it's November the 8th, 2018. Starting to get fall time here on us and I just wanted to show you if you're going to be a natural beekeeper, i.e. the Warry beekeeping method, unless you want to pay through the nose for your supplies, you might want to make your own. We're also going to be making uh, custom beehives and we can assist anyone that wants to know. Or, or does not want to fool with it, wants to, to get a, uh, a good price on the product and not pay a fortune. As you can see, I've got my table saw, my chop saw set up out here doing some work. I'm going to start on these Warre frames. Now, the Warre beehive is more designed to be a top bar hive than a framed hive, but what I've done is I've cut these pieces of wood into small pieces. Uh, this are actually pallet pallet wood don't worry it's not had chemical on it it was uh, heat treated pallet wood and I believe this is oak the grain certainly appears to be so and it's a very tough wood so this should make excellent frames so I'm trying to come up with the dimensions and I just want to do a brief video I'm gonna make a jig when I get it finished I'll do another video kind of give you an idea what this frame is gonna look like um, I will have to do a saw kerf down the middle which will allow you to either put a small starter strip of foundation or some beeswax in there. And what I'm gonna do a little different on mine, I'm gonna go ahead and put the curves down the side, each side, and then when that's all done, of course, this will be set up as a jig. We'll put these together and that will allow the bees to build their foundation along the kerf with the beeswax or small strip of foundation and they're going to go down and theoretically if we coat this side with a little bit of beeswax and a curve they should keep this comb pretty much perfectly straight in the frame the side may not be necessary a little extra i'm going to do to try to help it out because with the type of system i'm going to go to as far as mass producing bees for the worry system i'm going to have to have frames and uh, the, like i said the hive can be run frameless or top frame the designer specified frameless as a better, more natural, it's called top bar frameless, more natural way for the bees. And what the top bar involves, go over here to my, my trailer, I've got one set up here. This is a war a nuke that I made last year and I've just got just top bars that I would put my foundation in or my beeswax and just set it down in here, cut little notches in the end there's little nails and this would be a nucleus hive for worry top bar or worry hives the problem with this one is it will work but you have to take your knife and go down in there and cut on each side and pull this up and time is going to be of the essence for me now for the backyard beekeeper this would probably be fine but i want to go with the uh frames to allow manipulation of the bees a little bit easier. So that is a war a nuke I made last year. I'm going to make some more out of plywood. Be part of this series on, on what I'm coming up with for natural beekeeping. But anyway, I want to do a brief video on frames. Also, I'm looking at some two different strains of bees I want to try. One of them I was pretty much sold on and probably still going to go with is the uh, Fat Bee Man Small Cell Bees. He's out of Lula, Georgia. He has a beekeeper a professional beekeeper that he trained fairly close to me down in, in uh, central Tennessee and I'm going to get some of his bees but I'm also uh, really looking at the Russian purebred not the Russian hybrid from what I've been reading the purebreds can better control the varroa mite don't need all the treatments where the Italians do pretty much all the rest of the strains and I'm not sure what the fat bee man's is the thing I like about his, or so I've been told, is a gentleness, but we're still going to have to treat like I've shown you with the uh, uh, mineral oil. I'm not going to use oxalic acid. The Russians would probably need some treatment, but apparently they're very resilient and resistant to the varroa mite. And can, again, I've not raised them, but from what I'm reading, they can get by with very little, if any, treatment. I'm sure it would help them, but they break their own brood cycle and just a little different than the Italian. We'll get into that later, but I just want to do a brief video on frames, and I'm going to be making some more uh, nucleus hives for war beekeeping. I just want to keep everyone posted on what's going on.
we have the holidays rapidly approaching so do remember we will be taking pre-orders for the spring of 2019 for anyone that would like a Wari Hive. And that's part of why I'm doing this series, to show you what we're doing, where we're heading with this, and uh, we'll hopefully have some hives available should folks want some. If not, we'll just continue to use them in our apiary. Hope everyone has a great day. Take care.